Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Xinmin Liu, along with my colleagues Chen Yuanzhang and Chen Zhou. We are here to talk about transformational leadership. What exactly is transformational leadership? How does it differ from another form of leadership called transactional? Well, let Ms. Zhang explore it further. His manager is transactional. He asks tough questions to make sure they understand their goals and are on track. As a result, the team efficiently reaches their predetermined goals every time. Michael's boss, however, is transformational. She influences her employees with a shared passion and a clear vision. As a consequence, the team creates success. The two scenarios are distinctly different ways of leading people, aren't they? Ms. Zhou will now discuss the main characteristics that define transactional and transformational leadership. There are three major points of difference between the two leadership types, which are the source of power, rewards, and impacts. Transactional leaders draw power from rank, urging people under their command to follow the instructions. This results in rewards for jobs well done or demerit if otherwise. Transformational leaders, however, boost their power from personal character and competence by motivating their subordinates. With regard to rewards, transactional leaders put more effort on the three most basic aspects of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Transformational leaders, however, encourage their employees to perform at higher levels, helping build subordinates' pride and esteem to finally realize the self-actualization. Another major point to stress is impacts. Transactional leadership encourages behavior changes, while transformational leadership zooms in on people's attitudes, which results in positive impacts on employees. Ms. Liu will then discuss how transformational impacts can be observed on both individual and organizational levels. On an individual level, transformational leadership focuses on employees' feelings of their superior leadership style. Considering the diversity of personal source and reactions, employee interpretations of the same leadership style may vary. At organizational level, however, impact results from collective effect on individuals, so it may vastly differ from any given individual perception. Whether it is viewed from an individual or organizational perspective, it is undeniable that this leadership style significantly improves people's performance by enhancing their positive attitude. It is achieved through the elements of transformational leadership, which Ms. Zhang will discuss it later. There are four elements of transformational leadership, which are individual consideration, idealized influence, intellectual stimulation, and inspirational motivation. Who among you has heard of Jeff Welch and Reed Hastings? These people are among the transformational leaders who have graced the pages of business history. Both leverage charisma, encouragement, and values to motivate their employees catapulting their businesses to the pinnacle of success. Let's start with Jack Roach. He became CEO of General Electric at only 45. In his 20 years as CEO, he increased the market capitalization by over $400 billion. How did he do this? He was famous for his handwritten notes of appreciation, an example of the first element, individual consideration. His personalized notes inspired his employees because they felt noticed and valued. Jack's 2017 trend differentiation rule was another effective tool. Breaking down the employee performance, those in the top 20% were promoted, rewarded with opportunities, and given a vision of where they could go. Those in the next 70% were deemed able to meet their potential. Those in the bottom 10%, however, were dismissed. This represents the second element, idealized influence training his people respective of their capacities while considering the company's overall welfare. Because he looked after his body's personal needs, abilities, and desires, they in turn saw him as a role model. They identified with him and emulated his ambition and determination. I remember the last movie you watched on Netflix that made you cry, laugh, or excited. Many thanks to Netflix CEO Reed Hastings. As the company rapidly grew, the challenges also piled up. It was in 2011 when Reed split the Netflix platform into two main services, DVD rentals and streaming videos. However, this caused the user dissatisfaction and the subscriptions declined. Realizing the damage caused by his decision, he tried the untested. 
He started authorizing managers to sign high-value transactions without top management's approval, giving them a sense of ownership by taking on calculated risks. Reed's bold move shows the third element, intellectual stimulation. He empowered his workforce to challenge themselves and find alternative ways to jump over hurdles, and by doing so, leverage the fourth element, inspirational motivation. In contrast with Jack Welch's approach, Reed didn't employ a foreign quota or rating system at Netflix. He preferred all employees to work together rather than risk tension and competition. In turn, Reed's decision inspired commitment, creating a shared vision for Netflix's progress in the field of media entertainment. At Jack Welch and Reed Hastings, they have distinct methods in leading their teams, but both earn trust and respect from their subordinates, consolidating the team spirit in achieving common plans and goals. However, I'd like to suggest that transformational leadership has its risks. The flexibility of the approach could result in unstable efficiency if the team spirit isn't strong enough, and sometimes the employees may take advantage of its efficiency. Whether you are an existing or future manager, I highly encourage you to be a transformational leader since more and more workers start to look beyond simple careers. Encourage them to work hard and achieve meaningful goals becomes important. When workers are given space for professional and personal growth, it translates to an effective and positive working environment, developing the whole company at large. Thank you so much for listening and watching.